Alright, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this video is going to be about oil catch cans, what they do, and how I've installed mine. Um, so, what an oil catch can does is it takes the crankcase ventilation, which is coming from here, and would traditionally come along and go back into the inlet down in here, which is the air intake pipe to the turbo. Um, and for a long time, diesels have breathed back into the air intake without a problem. Uh, what it, you know, the oil just goes back in through the inlet manifold, uh, gets burnt up and doesn't cause that much issue. But with late model engines um, and the introduction of exhaust gas recirculators or EGRs as they're known, um, what that does is on the inlet side, uh, when you have the oil coming comes through the through the inlet into the inlet manifold, um, and then the exhaust gas is recirculated in there. The combination of the soot that comes through the exhaust and the oil that's coming through causes carbon deposits all through the throttle body, inlet manifold, uh, valves, cylinder head. You know, which leads to uh, poor performance bad fuel economy, um, can even lead to damage, uh, you know, cylinders running lean, valves burning out, all kinds of horrible things. So, to try and combat that, there's two things you can do. Um, what a lot of people will do is block off the, the EGR valve on this Nissan Navara D40. Um, that's the EGR valve there. So the exhaust gas comes out of the exhaust manifold into there, there's an electronic control valve there which sends it through that pipe which goes down to the inlet manifold and I'll see if I can get a focus on here um, just there I won't pick up focus but where that pipe bolts on that's where you would put an EGR blinking plate and that stops all the spent exhaust gas that's being introduced back into the inlet manifold um, you have to be a little bit careful doing that because it's probably illegal in most states in Australia, I'd say, because um, you're overriding a, an emission control device, so it would definitely be illegal. So, um, the way we can stop oil going into the inlet is with an oil catch can. So, I've replaced that hose and now I've introduced this oil catch can into the circuit. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just a little a little can um, with an in and an out and now the, the, the crankcase ventilation just comes from the rock cover into that through the catch can back down into the inlet. Now what that does in there is um, there's a series of baffles uh, and what that does is that large volume in there combined with the baffles lets the air slow down. And the idea is that it takes the, the vaporised oil or any oil that is in those fumes, uh, drops out of suspension and gathers down in this can that you you know can clean out every so often. Um, this is only a cheapy off eBay, it is all made out of aluminium. Um, I didn't like those ones with the little clear hoses on the side, it just looks like something that'll perish and crack. It does have a handy little dipstick, so you can pull this out to see you know how much is in there there's nothing in there at the moment or it hasn't been on here for only a couple of hundred k's so the catch can was about thirty dollars on ebay but then it comes with a little bit of hose but it's pretty rubbish so i went to the auto store and brought this proper it's actually a uh, transmission oil cooler hose um, but that was 25 dollars a meter and i had to buy two meters of it so the hose was more expensive than the oil catch can but you know Hopefully it's an investment, so that's the way it goes. Um, so the one other advantage you have of removing the oil uh, from the breather system and catching it in there, so then that means you're not getting oil going the whole way through your uh, your inlet track. Um, the, the effect of that oil going through there is it goes down here, comes into the front, and it, get, it, get, it pulls up in the bottom of the intercooler and it doesn't make it all the way back out um, back up and go into the inlet. So the effect of that is oil is a uh, is a really good insulator. So 
it'll actually, with oil, or through your intercooler, even if it's just a very thin film that's built up on the inside of the intercooler, it, it, it insulates it and it reduces the effects of your intercooler. So, you know, let's say the intercooler manages to knock 100 degrees off the air, you know, it's 100 degrees cooler at the outlet than it is at the inlet. Well, you know, I've, so I've read, I haven't tested myself, that um, you can get almost a 10 degree difference just from cleaning the oil out. So the air coming out of the intercooler is 10 degrees cooler simply because there's no oil in the system. Um, so hopefully it will lead to better performance, uh, better fuel economy, and then of course the long-term effects of not building up uh, that sticky carbon gunky mess all through your uh, intake manifold, throttle body and intake valves. Uh, I won't show a picture of that, that's all over the internet, everybody knows all about that. If Just Google pictures if you want to see it. But yeah, so maybe I'll do a follow-up video in a little while, uh, see how it's gone, but hopefully that does its job. So if you like this video, I find it useful, give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to my channel, share it around. Thank you very much.